This is an analog FPV monitor from, no kidding, 2014. So why did I buy a new in-box analog monitor from 2014 off of eBay? That's what you're gonna find out in this video. And if you fly walk snail, you're probably gonna to wanna to follow suit. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. I had to look it up, because I was curious when this monitor actually first came out. June 4th, 2014. And that's all you need to know to know that I am not using this monitor as an analog FPV receiver, although it does have a built-in analog receiver. And as you can see here, it supports next wave and airwave transmitters without distorted picture. I'm gonna guess that almost everybody watching this video is too young in the hobby to even remember what a next wave or airwave video transmitter is. No, the reason that I'm getting this is because it works with the walk snail system in a way that literally nothing else that I've been able to find works. Here's the walk snail goggles X and it's bound to a quadcopter that's right over there with a fan blowing on it. Apologies for the background noise. The video transmitter will overheat and I need it for this demonstration. The HDMI output of the Goggles X is being fed into this standard seven inch field monitor. I use these around my studio all the time uh, and everything seems to be working just fine. But watch what happens if I go into the goggles and change the frame rate. So right now we're at standard frame rate, which is 60 frames per second. And this is gonna work with pretty much any monitor that like any monitor on earth that has an HDMI input. But if I change the frame rate to high frame rate, that's 100 frames per second. And as you might have guessed, it's not going to work. The screen says invalid format. And that's gonna be true also for almost every monitor on earth with an HDMI input, which might surprise you. It surprised me way back when I very first started wanting an external monitor for use with my uh, walk snail system, I bought so many monitors. I went through, I bought an Atomos Ninja, which is an external field recorder that can record like 4K 120 frames per second. 4K 120 is a much more demanding video format than 720p 100. But the problem is it's not about whether the screen like has the power to display the feed. Each HDMI display device has like inside itself a list of video formats that it understands and if 720p 100 is not in that list, the screen won't display it. And most of them don't do it because here's the thing, 720p 60, bog standard. 720p 120, 120 frames per second is like a frame rate that people use. But 720p 100 is this weird ass frame rate that only FPV, frankly, only walk snail pilots ever use and most display devices won't display it. So I went searching. And I asked, I asked online, I searched everywhere I could to find a screen that could display my walk snail video feed. Because like, I wanna be able to display it. That's one of the features of walk snail is that HDMI out. And I found like one example of a screen that someone used on the internet that said they could do it, but it's like a big 10 inch screen. And I'm not even sure you can get that exact screen anymore. It was basically a dead end. And then I found this one. Old ass monitor from 2014 somehow is the only portable monitor on freaking earth that seems to be able to display the 720p 100 frames per second feed from a walk snail goggles. And I have to give credit. It was actually our old friend, Tommy Tabahia, oh my God, who was, I was just bitching about not being able to find something that could do it. And he tried a bunch of monitors, cause I don't know, I guess he has a bunch of time on his hand. And he found, he actually just happened to own one of these and he tried it and he happened to discover that it worked. But wait, don't run out and buy it yet because you have to get the exact right one. I'm gonna show you what the exact right one is. It has to be the 3D Robotics Black Pearl Monitor with no DVR. There is another version of the Black Pearl Monitor made by FlySight. This one's also made by FlySight, but they made it for 3D Robotics or something. There is another version of the monitor, the FlySight Black Pearl Monitor. It has a DVR and that one doesn't work. But specifically the 3D Robotics branded one with no DVR, no SD card slot in the top, specifically this one somehow seems to do it. And if you have Walksnail and you want an external monitor, 
that is not a big, like you could just buy a gaming monitor, like an actual computer monitor. That's not portable. If you want a portable monitor for display of your walk snail feed and you don't want to have to go down to 60 frames per second in order to get it, this is like the only way I can find to do it. And you can go on eBay. There's, there's, you can still get a new inbox on eBay. They're about $75. I shouldn't tell you that. I should just go buy them and I should sell them to you and make money, but that's not how I operate. I know how the internet works. The minute you do something on the internet, people will come out of the woodwork to tell you you're wrong, and I hope that's true, because I hope you all go down in the comments and tell me other monitors that work with Walksnail at 100 frames per second. I have tried and tried and tried, and I couldn't find any. At least not any portable ones, like in the five inch to seven inch factor. If you can, that would be super helpful because there are only so many of these in existence and eventually they will all sell through and then they won't exist anymore. I, I wish this was a better monitor. I wish, like, it's okay. I wish this was like 600 nits, 1000 nits, high resolution, like, so that, you know, it's like it gets washed out in the sun a little bit, but it is usable. Uh, but so far, nobody makes them. Maybe someone will after this video. I'll put a link in the video description below to uh, an eBay listing that has this product, but frankly, you should just go search. Just make sure you're buying the right one. The black, the 3D robotics version with no DVR. That's it. Just want to let you know this product exists and I solved this problem. Well, Tommy Tabahia solved this problem for me. But yeah, he, I don't think he wanted to make a video about it. Maybe he wanted to keep the secret all to himself. See you in the next one.